fellow beer geeks of the internet. How are you? I'll tell you what I am. Very excited about this here beer. This is the Kempis Vuur Haverstout, or Oatmeal Stout. Uh, this is the first domestic Belgian oatmeal stout I've ever had, so this is pretty exciting, as I'm a uh, pretty big fan of the style, I think. Um, I've had a few of them, and they were all uh, at least okay. So, uh, all there is on this bottle is the ingredients. Um, malted beer brewed with natural products, water, oats, uh, one-third oats, one-thirds as opposed to what? Probably the malts or something. Barley malts, amber malt, caramel malts, roast malts, and hops. Hops. Okay. <coughs> Crack the top of this. Beautiful, clean pop. Ah, see how it pours. Hmm. Quite a fizzy head. Not super dark. No, uh, this isn't really anywhere near black. This is a uh, mostly red brown, chestnut brownish. Hmm. It uh, has the typically Belgian head, the beaten egg whites. <laughs> um, which I'm not necessarily a big fan of when it comes to stouts, but uh... It smells okay, I'm getting notes of uh... I'm getting the malts, mostly, and yeah, probably the oats. I could be imagining that. Maybe I should have smelled some oatmeal before I tried this. But it does smell very... cereally, if you will. So, smells of the, uh, the different grains they used. Hmm. Bit of hops, yeah. Nothing in the world of coffee or, uh, roasted malts or anything I would expect from a stout. But it isn't very dark, so, uh, I kind of expected there not to be too many roasted malts in this. But, uh, anyway, let's give it a shot. Nice and bitter, nice and hoppy, 6.5% ABV, so it's, by Belgian standards, it's fairly light, but for, a, but for a session stout, I suppose I've had lighter. Hmm. Yeah, nice and bitter, lingering bitterness, kind of overpowering, but you know what, I don't really mind too much. <clears throat> yeah, no real sweetness in the background. I expected this to have a, a thinner body and mouthfeel, but it's okay. Can't really complain. Mm. Yeah, for 6%, can't really complain about the mouthfeel. But it's, it's really is, it really is mostly the, uh, the hot bitterness, and... Not getting all too much of the uh, the malts and the, the oat on on the palate. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, from what I've thought, th there are roast malts in this, so that is going to give it part of its bitterness. Um, but no chocolate malts or anything, so um, no no real chocolate in there. And it's a kind of one-sided bitterness, but it's very drinkable. There's really nothing uh, fundamentally wrong with it. 
tad too heavy to be a session stout, maybe. But um, yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing really wrong with it either. So uh, yeah, I think this is gonna be a seven and a half out of ten. Good job, Beerlo. Good job.